So, I mounted the uh, engine on the uh, engine stand. That's a Harbor Freight or Northern Tools. Harbor Freight or Northern Tools, I forget which one. Engine stand, it cost me $99 about seven years ago. And I decided to mount it sideways rather than on uh, from, from the end plate. And I, and I did that for a couple of reasons. One is just the laws of physics. To have the engine going this way would put a whole lot of stress going this way. It also would make it really difficult to work on the engine itself, to, to remove the crank, to deal with all that kind of thing. So I've seen it online. I've seen a bunch of people mount it sideways uh, like this. And, and, and the people that mount it sideways, they mount it using these four bolts on the other side. Um, I modified this design a little bit. I wasn't comfortable with putting four bolts, mounting the whole thing, and, and, and having these these arms come over and having the whole thing mount just on those those four bolts and having there be a lot of torque this way. So what I did was I took some angle iron, and these happened to be some old um, some old fence rails. I upgraded the fence on my table saw, so I took some old fence rails. And uh, I mounted those to the four holes here, and then I made some brackets. These brackets are kind of the secret sauce behind this uh, behind this thing. And you can see that what they do is they come over and they mount to the rail on one side, and then they mount to this hole here and this hole uh, here, uh, another bracket down here. So I'm going to go over how I made this uh, adapter if you want to do it the same way. I'll uh, we'll talk a little bit about the the bolts. Um, you notice I use grade 8 um, bolts uh, everywhere where I where I could. Uh, these are, are also 7 16 um, bolts here and here uh, and then I use what use the normal um, the normal 5 16 bolts that go into the block uh, but, I, but, but the sheer force on a 7 16 Grade eight bolt is something like six thousand pounds or something like that, and the uh, and, uh, and and a little bit less on the uh, quite a bit less on the grade uh, the grade five um, five sixteenths bolts on the sides. But I think when you add up all the bolts that that are connected here, I, I could probably hang about ten of these engines on those bolts and be fine. So anyway, I'm going to go over how I made that adapter. If you want to do it the same way. Okay, I'm building an adapter for my uh, engine stand, and I've attached um, these two rails to the four motor mount bolts here. And I'm coming over, and I've seen people just attach it straight in here, you know, the adapter and so on. But I wanted to bring it all the way over the other side of the engine, so I've already done this bottom bottom mount where I've. Uh, I've got the uh, let's see where is it here see I've got I've got it, it uh, bolted on here I'm going to go ahead the only tricky thing about this um, other than welding the angle iron like this is to transfer the uh, transfer the hole location and what I've done is I've taken a washer and attached it with grease uh, to the block centered on the hole and I used a setter punch to uh, just push it in and align it. And then I put blue Hylomar on the back of both um, both surfaces and I let it tack off. And now with the, uh, see if I can do this one-handed. Now with the uh, rail in place, I'm gonna go ahead and slide it in and slide it out. And, it, and the washer transferred, the washer transferred onto the uh, surface there where the hole goes. So that that look marks the location of my hole. It worked really well on the last one. So, so there's our washer transferred onto where the hole belongs. It, it pulled off the uh, block room nicely. So now I'll go take this and uh, put it in the drill press and uh, and center on that um, on that washer and drill that hole just a little bit oversized so it doesn't have to be that persnickety. Both of these brackets are the same idea. It's basically a piece of angle that I cut the uh, I cut the vertical on and then welded um, 
welded. So uh, weld on the inside, weld on the outside. Uh, that's the basic idea. So this is how it attaches. It attaches with that one bolt in the front. I could have gone all the way over the second I originally planned to, but decided not to. Uh, one bolt, and then there's there's a couple holes in the side of that that map with um, a couple slotted holes here on the side, and then slotted there's slotted holes in here also. This is a table saw um, fence that I had left over, and so this is basically going to mount. Uh, this will basically mount against one, two, three, four holes. Uh, I did some research online. A grade eight bolt is something like 5,000 pounds of shear uh, force, something like that. So I think we're with one, two, three, four, five, or, or with one, two, three, four, five, six uh, mounting locations on the engine, six on the engine, uh, and these really heavy duty. Uh, angle irons, I think will be fine. Uh, what I did was I took and put a, and, and I measured between the, between the, uh, the center of the engine and that is the, uh, that's sort of the center of gravity of this, uh, uh, of the engine without the head on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and mount this to the, uh, to the engine stand. Um, but then I'm going to leave the hoist on it and, uh, and I'll remove the, I'll start removing the head. I'll see how stable it is because it's a little top heavy right now. Um, and then, uh, remove the head and then the engine should be balanced on the stand, um, this way. I found it easier to, uh, to get this on. It was a, the angle, engine was at an angle. I found it easier to get it on by lifting lifting the engine stand to it and now I'll uh, let the engine down and let it take the weight a little bit to get everything lined up. Sighting down the uh, the bore the uh, the center of mass was a little bit high um, it was maybe inch high inch and a half high so I loosened uh, loosened these um, tapped it beat down on these with a hammer uh, lightly tapped it down uh, and uh, tightened everything back up to get it center mass again I slackened the chain and testing the engine and trying to trying to tip it trying to get things to be unstable and it's very very stable so I'm not uh, it is top heavy I can feel it wanting to wanting to turn and by the way this makes for an excellent uh, bar to turn the turn the engine with but it's, there's not a lot of force there there's maybe maybe 10 pounds or so 10, 10 15 pounds to push it down so uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and take the hoist off so I can pull the head and there we go it's off and on the stand and everything is looking good it doesn't feel particularly stressed. Uh, I much prefer it sideways like this and centered so that the center mass is on the center of the stand. I feel like it's a lot more stable and especially when the head comes off. Um, and I, I really felt uncomfortable about just mounting it just to here. So having the load distributed from here to here, I think uh, I feel a lot better about. Plus my handy scale here, I can measure things as I'm going. <laughs>